In this question, we're given uh, a second order linear differential equation called Chebyshev's equation. Here the v, or the v squared, is a parameter. And we're asked to uh, obtain the general solution to the problem by using a particular substitution. Okay. Now, first of all, before we get down to the solution method, what are we trying to do here? This is a little bit different to a lot of the ODEs that um, use substitution methods because we're actually making a substitution for the independent variable. Okay? A lot of problems that use substitution uh, to solve ODEs involve substituting out for the dependent variable. But here we're actually um, substituting out for the independent variable x. So what we're going to do is we're going to form a new differential equation in basically u and theta. So we're going to get, you know, d squared u, d squared, uh, d squared u, du squared, uh, d theta squared plus something involving uh, u equals something. Now it's quite beautiful when you actually get uh, the differential equation down to a manageable level the, uh, something quite amazing happens. The coefficients become constant. Okay? The coefficients become constant. Now, why is that important? Because we know how to solve constant coefficient linear ODEs, right? So it's rather amazing. Uh, now, if you're a bit bored, how would you transform this into uh, self adjoint form? That would be the other thing. Quickly. How would you do it quickly? Okay, all right. So if we let x equal cosine theta, what we want to do up here, you know, u prime, I mean, du dx, right? So what we want to do is replace all the derivatives in the original uh, differential equation with derivatives involving du d theta d squared u d theta squared. Okay? So if x equals cosine theta, let's take the differentials. And get the following. Okay, so if I just rearrange that, I'll get something like this. Okay? So we're making a change of independent variable. Now what we're trying to do is calculate du dx or u dash d squared u dx squared in terms of um, these sorts of derivatives, du, d theta, etc. So now just using the chain rule, I can write this as the following product. And from up here, I can replace this with the following. So, I now essentially have du dx in terms of du d theta time and you know sine theta. So that's it's easy to substitute out there. Now, what about the second derivative? Well, that's a little bit more work, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so we're just taking the derivative of a derivative. And if I just essentially write this as I did up here, I can then, you know, perhaps um, apply a product rule. Okay, so I'm taking the derivative of a product here. So if I apply the, apply the product rule, I'll get the following. Yeah. So now what? Well, I can split this differential ddx and ddx up again. So 
So here I've just, just split d dx into this and this. And I know d theta dx from up here. OK. And uh, d theta dx here can be substituted out again. And I can split up d dx again if I want to into the following. OK. So I've got a d theta dx there, which I can simplify from there. Another one there, which I can get from there. So I'll come up with the following. Now, if I differentiate this, I'll get cosine on sine squared. So again, using this one here, I'll get a 1 on sine squared. And this, of course, the last bit is just d squared u, d theta squared. OK, so I can take a, I'm going to take a factor of 1 on sine squared out. u d theta plus d squared u d theta squared. OK. So I've got my derivative My derivative, second derivative, d squared u dx squared in terms of du d theta and d squared u d theta squared. So now what I can do is go back to my original, my original differential equation, replace this with this, replace this uh, with this, and then see um, how it simplifies. And of course, replace x with cosine theta. OK, so let's call this um, uh, c for Chebyshev. Uh, C. Okay. All right, so I'll just write the zero over here. So 1 minus x squared is going to be 1 minus cosine squared. Uh, I'll replace this with what's down here. OK, that's the first term. The second term is going to be u prime, which is there. And the last term is just v squared u. OK, so now you can see that, all right, that can be sine squared. We're going to get some cancellation out of there. And you'll see that this term is going to cancel off with this term. So now the magic happens. And you get the following. Essentially, you get d squared u, d theta squared plus v squared u equals 0. That is a linear, second order, homogeneous problem with constant coefficients. So that's really amazing that a substitution like that can reduce something horrendously complicated down to something extremely simple. So I thought, OK, well, if, if a simple substitution can do that, what happens if I try x equals sine theta? What, what, where will that get me? Will that get me anywhere? Can I apply that to some other equation with non-constant coefficients? Maybe. Maybe. 
And in fact, I, I actually believe... Have I, have I seen it done this way? I'm not sure, but if you... I, I, I might have seen a, a solution somewhere where if you try x equals sine theta, you can still solve the same... I don't know if it's the same problem, but that's my gut, my gut feeling. So, what is the solution to this problem? Well, we've got a very basic problem now that we can solve easily. Remember, to solve uh, this kind of homogeneous second-order problem with constant coefficients, you write down a characteristic equation, calculate the solutions to that equation, and um, depending on whether the solutions are complex or real and unequal or real and equal, you can then write down the general solution. Okay, so let's call this, you guessed it, star. So it's a linear ODE with constant coefficients. So we like that. Okay. The characteristic equation of star is lambda squared plus v squared equals zero. So lambda equals plus or minus IV. Roots are complex. With real, uh, with zero real part. So, your theta is going to be a cos v theta plus b sine v theta. Okay, so if you go back and go, all right, well, if x equals cosine theta, and then theta equals cos inverse x, Oh, sorry. And there you have it. So, so, yep. Cos inverse, cos inverse. <laughs>